Storm Kamuri has been gradually intensifying over the last 24 hour period. At 11 pm Chamorro time this November 27th, it had winds of 65 miles per hour and an estimated pressure around 988 millibars. Still a tropical storm, but getting closer to typhoon status. The CDPS now in place here for Camarines Nort in the Philippines for December the 3rd for potential landfall and it could be a stage 7 on the CDPS scale that's according to the latest projections with rainfall being one of the biggest impacts as well as potentially a Academy 4 storm landfall. Here it is right now though 11.8 north 139.5 degrees east large wind field particularly to the northeast of the storm it's currently 180 miles from Yap, 436 from Palau, 921 from Hinatuan, 983 from Tacloban, and 1036 from Virac, which is the most likely, uh, one of the most likely landfall zones on Catanduanes. No warnings are in effect at this point, so we're looking at a blank canvas once again. Uh, but the next areas that will probably receive any kind of warnings will be the Philippines. But that is still quite a few days away at this point, still looking towards the weekend before anything like that occurs. So this is the projection in terms of rainfall, first of all, over the next seven days. You can see the pink areas there. This is accumulated rainfall amounts. Um, any areas in the pink there above 75 millimeters of rain and with this system we could be expecting possibly 600 millimeters of rain in the Philippines those are early estimates um, obviously we'll be refining those numbers as are as we will be with the storm intensity numbers as time goes on but at the moment the GFS shoving the storm straight through the uh, middle part or southern part of Luzon Sea surface temperatures around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius all the way up to the Philippines. So those sea surface temperatures are remaining very warm, uh, particularly in the next day or two when ocean heat content is higher, we could see some significant intensification of the storm. GFS thinks it will happen a little bit later, uh, calling for the storm initially to move towards the north and then stall a bit and then move towards the southwest and then it will intensify possibly rapidly as we get towards the late part of the weekend and then it really gets a shift on as it moves towards the west there um, and makes a beeline for central Luzon. There it is there becoming a category 4 storm on the GFS outlook. JGWC also going with that intensity on day 5. Chance of tropical storm force winds in the next 5 days I need to stress so those chances are very low at the moment but what you will see in the next two days is that these numbers will rise quite a lot for the Philippines at the moment, very low, because the storm won't get there in five days. Here's what the models are saying then. Uh, you can see the HWRF now calling for a Category 5. Uh, JTWC there, as I said, Category 4. Um, and wind shear, well, that's remaining low to moderate, 10 to 20 knots, depending on which model you look at there. So that's going to be hit and miss. Sea surface temperatures very warm all the way through, relative humidity not looking too bad. So in general conditions looking good for um, continued intensification. I guess the main question is will the storm stall before it starts moving towards the west which could possibly impede its development and then when it moves off towards the west towards the Philippines that's when we're really going to be watching this um, because we could see a rapid intensification spell. Here's how it has been looking on the latest satellite imagery. No indication of a northward movement yet, yet. Um, but GFS saying that it is likely to happen very soon. We'll wait and see whether that happens, or it might totally ignore that. But at the moment, convection still building a little bit near the center, and we could see typhoon status reached later today or tomorrow. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.